Lucas Media. Wow. If this if this story is true, it, I don't even know what to say. It, it might be the PBC. I mean, let me pull up this. What I seen from um, uh, Michael Benson or Rick Rick Glazier. And uh, according to boxing, it says, according to number one boxing insider Rick Glazier, Canelo will be announcing his departure from the PBC as they are absolutely broke and can't afford to pay him. The PBC is said to have breached their contract, which allows Canelo to walk away without having a third fight. Due to the fact that Crawford is a free agent with no connection to the PBC, he is officially the most viable opponent for Canelo to max out on a tremendous payday as Canelo will be promoting himself. Now Canelo has signed that mega deal with the three with the PBC. I know you fought Charlo, and hell, I didn't forget who he fought, but we wanted to see him fight uh, David Benavidez. And whenever I make a video, you got people in here hating in the comment section, but whatever, right? I digress. So if this is true, come on, PBC, y'all ain't got no bread for Canelo. Now y'all shouldn't have offered him that fifty million a fight or whatever. You went wrong with that. You should have broke that money down and gave it to your ride or dies. You know what I mean? The Earl Spences and the, the Leo Santa Cruz's and all the Gary Russell's. You should have gave it to that. But I knew something. If this is true, if this is true, because this is boxing. I'm not surprised, honestly. They haven't been fighting. You don't see Tank fighting three, three times, three, four times a year. Uh, you see them. You see one of these PBC fighters fight once every three years. Keith Thurman disappeared. Um, Earl only fought Terrence Crawford. He only fought one fight in damn near two years. I, I mean, I don't know, man. Then you got Leonard Ellaby. I need to make a separate video about him, but Leonard Ellaby has saying that you know it's about business and saving money, and even though Earl had Earl and Terrence Crawford was the biggest fight. The thing that people wanted to see, people really paid for the Tank and Ryan Garcia fight. It's just, man, I don't know. Like, they, it was so crazy because the PBC was so active and then they just stopped. And now you got, like I said, Keith Thurman and um, Tim DeZu fighting on, on pay-per-view and Rolly Romero and Pitbull Cruz fighting on pay-per-view. Those are not pay-per-view fights. But that lets you know that they don't have no money in the budget. Then they move from Showtime to uh, to Amazon. and Like, come on now. Who really? I'm not going to pay for that fight. I'm sorry. I'm not. You know, and I know I'm not going to ever get invited to the press conferences. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fight Height and, and uh, uh, Blue Blood and all those other people putting in the work. But I'm sorry. I'm going to keep it too real over here. You know, but. Now Canelo really ain't gonna fight Benavidez, or it's gonna be all on his terms. But if they ain't got the money to pay him, I don't blame Canelo. I'm leaving too. Like, what's up? You said you're gonna give me this 50 million no matter who I fight. Well, uh, uh, uh. You know, and I don't know. Even even with even with Deontay Water with Champ, like, I remember he was is he still with the PBC? Cause I don't really hear him say anything about Al Heyman anymore, but it all makes sense if this is true. You know, and if it is true, it's not a good look for boxing. I don't want this to be true, and y'all shouldn't want it either. Like, we should we should be able to see these fighters fight multiple times a year, and it don't have to be on pay per view. Y'all need to strike a deal with ESPN. Bob Arum them fight on ESPN Plus. Why y'all can't do it? I would actually be okay with that on ESPN Plus. But uh, you think I'm finna pay seventy dollars on my own pocket to pay for that? Pay for Keith Thurman who ain't fought uh, in a couple of years? No, stop, no. No, you know, this guy, um, this guy had two belts, WBC and WBA, and he just disappeared. So, you know, and I know they can't say a lot about Al Heyman because they got a, um, a clause in their contract where they can't speak about it. But man, I don't know. I hope this will remain true, but if it is, I'm not surprised it's boxing and the PBC, they've been really, they haven't been putting on a lot of fights like that. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?